Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel or my vlog. Uh, today I was thinking about doing a full day of eating and uh, that means I'm gonna have uh, make meals like uh, to play around with my macros slash calories. So today I'm gonna play around with uh, 230 grams of protein, 420 grams of carbs and 100 grams of fats. So Right now I'm gonna make some breakfast and I hope it's gonna be a good one because I'm gonna try to make some scones with uh, yeah some oats, fiber, cashew milk and some cork. Also baking powder. Then for that I'm gonna have some eggs and uh, hopefully the product will turn out nicely. Otherwise I do not know what I'm gonna make but something else instead. So. Let's see. So, oops. Yeah, it went over. But here we got the finishing product. It looks super pretty. Uh, really golden brown and all that, but I do not think it's that good. It's pretty, pretty gooey inside. Uh, but, yeah, I get, I get, I'm gonna have a check right now. Yeah, it's all right. Um, it's like oatmeal inside and uh, like a hard um, surface around. But yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Yeah, not 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 too bad. Mm, gonna be even better with uh, the eggs on top and uh, all that. Um, the macros for this are. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. 2,000 years later. Uh, the macros are 52, uh, almost 53 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fats and 41 grams of protein. So this is just a breakfast. It's uh, 630 grams of... Uh, sorry, what the hell? Uh, but it's 630 calories for this serving. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you at the next meal. Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Right now I just came home from a workout and it's time for my next meal and it's gonna be some great burritos. Okay, so for the burrito we're gonna make the meat base out of minced chicken, black beans and some finely crushed tomatoes. Then we're gonna have use this as a wrap. It's gluten free, it's low calorie, 99 calories per wrap. It's 1.2 grams of fats, 18 grams of carbs and 2.4 grams of protein. Then I'm gonna have some garlic sauce with this, creme fraiche, 5%, some corn and some rice, 150 grams of rice. And that's gonna be my mainly carb sauce. Also gonna add some fajita mix spice for this one. This, this. So let's get this started. And when I start with my meat mix, I'm gonna first cook this chicken. Then I'm gonna add the uh, enchiladas spice. Uh, I'm uh, gonna weigh out the chicken when it's cooked. Then back on the pan, in with the black beans, the tomatoes, and then I'm gonna prepare the wrap. Okay, now it's time to put this little shit together. And we're gonna start with the rice. Let's make this over there. Ah, beautiful, right? Then the corn, some corn. What a beautiful mess. Chop it up a bit. That's great. Then some meat mix. I'm gonna eat all this, but uh, I'll be, I'll split it up. Probably eat some in this burrito and some aside. That'll do. Now some garlic sauce. Right. Also some some cheese. There we go. And to finish with some amazing taco sauce. Perfect. Now we're gonna see if I could get this going. Not the greatest. Not the greatest at all. Now this is a 
utter complete failure, but uh, whatever. Let's get it rolling. There you go. Pour it tight here now, and it's time to eat. Okay, so here we have the finishing product. Uh, I probably, I really think it's gonna be amazing, but uh, as you all also saw, it was a utter failure. But yeah, it's probably gonna work out. Here's the side, uh, with the remainings of everything. Uh, I also hope you like my really bad impression, probably, of a Gordon Ramsay. Uh, probably energetic and everything like that, but yeah. If you're, you'll probably think it's hilarious because it's so bad, or you'll probably like it. I don't know how. But uh, in some way, I hope you think it was hilarious. So I'm gonna dig in. I ate my first meal at um, 9 a.m. Right now it's uh, 2.30 a.m. No? Yeah? Yeah, it's like 2.30 at least. And uh, I'm starving. So let's dig in. I'm also gonna give you the macros later on. Okay guys, now it's been uh, just uh, one or two hours since uh, that last meal and um, I thought I'd give you the macros right now. Uh, they were, it was uh, 92.1 grams of carbs, uh, 27.6 grams of fats and uh, 59.4 grams of protein and uh, total uh, 884 gra uh, calories. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, now, when that's done, I want to go into a subject about uh, if you, uh, when you have a, having a problem, a problem about uh, eating, picking um, or eating like uh, candy and uh, how to stay away from them. My, my, at least my perspective on how I do. Um, I know there's several several videos uh, on YouTube about this, how people say they do and everything like that, but. Um, I'm going to go, go through my version. So first, I want to go through, um, just want to go through like uh, macros, uh, what, what that is and how you count them and uh, how you should uh, find out the best way to, for, uh, for them to match your uh, calories. Uh, because um, uh, the macros are not the same for everyone. Like, um, I, I have my specific specific macros that I told you earlier today to our 250 grams of protein 420 grams of carbs and 100 grams of fats and that turns out to about 3500 calories uh, but you shouldn't copy that that's uh, specific specific for me and uh, you probably definitely have some other um, mixed uh, mix like uh, you have a uh, lower protein higher carbs maybe lower fats or higher fats like all that so um, I wrote down some uh, some uh, yeah whatever whatever that is uh, I can't uh, find the word right now but yeah I think you get it some notes yes finally um, and uh, yeah the macros are uh, like um, yeah, you. I have them evenly, evenly divided. Like so, um, it uh, turns out for uh, for my best uh, be best situation in health and uh, best situation situation for uh, my fitness fitness life. Uh, so uh, I get the most out of uh, get the best energy for my workouts at the gym. Um, that I don't that I don't that I eat enough of protein and uh, all that. Then there's also micros, by the way, um, like the vegetables, vitamins and minerals. Those are also extremely important. Um, after that, I, uh, I'll get right into uh, the main things right now for uh, if you have a great sweet tooth and uh, can't stay away from candy. It's a lot about uh, your will and uh, discipline on how bad you really want something. Like uh, for me, when I started this about uh, Two years ago, getting a, a fixed uh, meal plan and uh, we started weighing up food and all that, taking it more bit more serious. Um, my will and discipline wasn't uh, the best, but I 
it was a starting point. Um, I always wanted to eat candy and all that. I always had a big sweet tooth. Uh, so several times I to uh, told myself to say no to uh, like a pizza or uh, like a kebab or uh, whatever, like etc. Like candy and all that. Just in and instead get uh, my meals in. Like um, because uh, maybe at some point you could. Um, let free and take a bit, like take like a pizza and uh, take like candy, but keep it keep it pretty. Yeah, don't uh, indulge in everything. Don't overeat. It's uh, yeah, it just uh, works. Uh, to, uh, uh, yeah, away from you. It, it's not good. I've made that mistake twice in my recent cuts. But yeah, it's about your will and discipline. How bad you really want something and. Uh, uh, don't be afraid to say no to when uh, people offer you stuff. But no, I want I want to uh, I want to eat my my uh, meal, and uh, I want uh, that. And uh, like yeah, just be just learn to say no to stuff that you know you shouldn't eat. Uh, that's a great start. And uh, by uh, with more more time to say no, it's gonna get easier and easier and easier. Just give it time. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Okay, remember that that is really important and um, make sure you have like a lot of meals over the course of the whole day I have like six meals for my whole day divided with uh, divided uh, uh, my I divide my 3,500 calories in six meals and uh, I also drink a lot of water uh, in between meals during my meals like it fills up your stomach extremely well uh, even though I have a hard time being full uh, like uh, I, I'm rarely full but I try to drink a lot of water and it uh, keeps it pretty at least a bit full like uh, enough and um, uh, but uh, still I do have uh, I do have cravings uh, but most of the times so I just uh, whenever I start feeling feeling a craving come I go eat a real meal, like uh, maybe I take an apple, protein bar, protein pudding, uh, or maybe a protein ice cream we have here now, at least in Sweden, we just got one recently, it's delicious, at ice cream, and, um, uh, or sometimes, yeah, recently I've started to, uh, to add ketchup to my meals, and uh, that, that is extremely delicious, like uh, a lower sugar ketchup, uh, it's uh, 65 calories per 100 grams, and uh, that is not bad, like, you could just cut away from some rice and all that, you, and just add that, that as a carb product. Uh, you'll, I'll also eat a lot of my oatmeal, as I've said before, and I've showed you. I really like my oatmeal because I make my oatmeal pretty sweet. Like uh, it, it becomes like a dessert, and uh, that that really keeps my cravings uh, on low, on low. So um, mostly. So make, yeah, yeah, just make sure you, uh, whenever you get a craving, um, or uh, whenever you get a craving, uh, just try to eat something like an apple, just something small, or eat a meal like uh, you can eat like six meals a day, and uh, just eat eat uh, eat reasonable uh, meals so it doesn't uh, become too big ones, like always a lot of calories. I mean, eat until you're full and uh, don't eat until you're hungry. Try to stay away from eating just when you have a craving or anything like that. I think I covered the most part right there. I hope it helped you. If, if you have any more questions about it, I'll, think, I'll do my best on answering them. So I'll see you at the next meal, which will be in a couple of hours, uh, or maybe one or two hours at least, yeah. So I'll see you then. So finally, it's time for my next meal. And this meal, I'm gonna make some kind of uh, chicken, ke chicken kebab, or uh, more specific, just slightly, slightly thin sliced chicken like uh, five millimeters thick probably and then I'm gonna make some uh, sweet 
potato fries with these bad boys. The chicken, the kebab spicing. Uh, yeah, spice. And I'm gonna make make the potato and sweet potato fries in this air fryer. That, my friends, is a work of art. That is amazing. It may, makes the best fries um, with just simple air 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 oven like yeah and you don't need even need to add oil and they still turn out extremely good like it has never disappointed me yet at least so uh, I'm gonna get this going because right now I'm going I'm beginning to feel a lot of a lot a lot of hunger yeah <laughs> wow the starters are real Here we have it, 450 grams of sweet potato fries, 200 grams of chicken, and a half an onion. And then, some sauce. My homemade kebab sauce. It's actually extremely good. Tastes just like uh, the one from our like pizza kitchen here in Vislanda. But it's super delicious. So this is gonna be extremely good. And of course, for this meal, uh, it's about 100 grams of carbs, um, about six grams of fat, and uh, 65 grams of protein, and uh, that comes up to about 690 calories. For that amount of food, yeah, I'm satisfied. So with a meal like that, you really need some uh, dessert afterwards because uh, that was amazing and uh, this will be, I hope, I really believe it's gonna be even more awesome. I'm gonna make some milkshake. With this, it's uh, protein ice cream, uh, 43, uh, 43 grams of protein in this whole tub. Some vanilla extract for extra vanilla flavor. PB2, like uh, pow powder, p pow peanuts in powder form. Add water and uh, you can make consistency in uh, whatever, uh, however you like. Some uh, protein crisps, like 20 grams of protein per this whole bag, 77 grams. I'll use 10 grams for just topping. And if we need to make it more liquidy, I'll have some cashew milk. So let's see the end, pro end product. And here we had a finish finishing product. Oh my god guys, this tastes amazing. It looks even more amazing. I have no words to explain this, but this is one of my best things I've ever done so far. Really, really, really happy about this. So now it's soon time to wrap up this vlog. Uh, I'm gonna eat my last meal right now with this wheat bread. I'm gonna have six slices, 220 grams of them. And I'm gonna have, put on some uh, red pepper and some uh, strawberry jam. And I also and um, I forgot and got it before, but uh, the macros for uh, that milkshake uh, with protein ice cream, PB2 on, and some uh, protein crisps are 48 carbs, 16 and a half fats, and uh, 47 protein, and calories were 467, and that's uh, even less than a half a Ben and Jerry, so totally worth it, and uh, a lot better macros. So yeah, um, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna watch some Netflix, might edit uh, Friday's vlog and uh, try to get it up on uh, uh, tomorrow.
tomorrow, yeah, on Sunday. So, um, yeah, I hope you've liked, liked this kind of vlog full day of eating. Probably won't be my last one. Um, comment down below if you want, uh, if you want me to show you uh, when I make uh, the meals, uh, more, more of the meals. And uh, yeah, please like, share and subscribe and have a great week.